The U.S. Supreme Court has just handed down a decision that will cause most of Indiana's wetlands to lose their federal protections. The nation's highest court sided with Idaho property owners, a decision that rolls back federal safeguards under the Clean Water Act. Only 800,000 acres of Indiana are home to wetlands, and advocates say those wetlands are now at risk. WRTV's Kara Kenny spoke with the Hoosier Environmental Council about why this decision is so important. What was your reaction when you saw that decision come down? Well, disappointment. This decision means that the majority of Indiana wetlands will not be protected under current federal law. And we don't have very good protection under state law. Unfortunately, in 2021, the Indiana General Assembly significantly reduced protection for wetlands under state law. Really, this comes down to property rights. Is that correct? The crux of the, the debate, and the debate has gone on literally for decades, uh, the crux of the debate has been um, private property rights versus um, the fact that wetlands are part of uh, you know, the overall water system that affects all of us. What purpose do wetlands serve in Indiana? Wetlands are a crucial part of Indiana's water resources. They catch and hold excess storm water. They're like giant sponges on the landscape, so they help reduce flooding. What happens now? Well, there are a couple of things that could happen. Congress could step in and either change the Clean Water Act or write a new federal law. Is that something that the Hoosier Environmental Council will be pushing the Indiana legislature to do now that this has been handed down by the Supreme Court? Yes, the Hoosier Environmental Council has been working for years on wetland protection in our state, and we will continue to raise awareness among the uh, public and elected official, officials about the value of Indiana's remaining wetlands. All right, Indra Frank with the Hoosier Environmental Council. Thank you so much. The Supreme Court's decision is expected to give property owners more flexibility in how they can use their land free from government regulation. Attorney General Todd Rokita had this to say about the decision. This is great news for farms and property owners in our state. The Supreme Court's ruling will protect Hoosiers, jobs, property, and freedom from the Biden ad ad admin's excessive regulations. And we have reached out to the Indiana Builders Association, which claims regulations at the federal, state, and local level now account for roughly 25% of the cost of a house.